Good morning, it's Grit and Gumption here. I picked up a couple pineapples at the store, they were on sale. So I'm small batch canning again. I just put up stuff every once in a while whenever I get something at a good price. Um, so I've got water going here. I shut it off so it can kind of cool down. I've got water going here so I can put it in the jars with my pineapple. I'm gonna cut up my pineapple and take out all these eyes and this one too. It's real easy to do. You get these, you just kind of take it and you twist the top off. I cut the top off, cut the bottom off, and then start on the sides. We'll be back when I'm done. All right, I have all the eyes off of this. And you wanna cut around the outside here and get the core out. And I had one of these uh, pineapples that I didn't feel was in good enough shape to be canning, so needless to say, I got rid of it. <laughs> So, I'm gonna put some. Uh, you can also dehydrate, here. dehydrate yeah. these pineapples. Yeah, they make wonderful pineapple chips. They're really good. The kids like them even. Yeah, they are fabulous. I know, you would not think, but they are. So you put a, a half a teaspoon of lemon juice in each jar? Yeah, I'm not sure how. To make it not be brown, to keep it from browning? Well, it just makes the flavor just that much better, I feel like. And I wanna make sure I have enough. I find that was pretty acidic, but anyway. So that's that. I'm gonna start filling them up. I mean, I, I do this kind of stuff all the time, do little small batch canning. Um, believe it or not, you can fill your, your shelves up pretty fast doing this stuff. When you find a good deal, get it. I mean, these were supposed to be like on sale. I got them for a buck a piece. So that's that's good. I mean, yeah, that is good. And I ordered a... Um, you can get them two for five at, at uh, one of the local grocery stores. Pineapple ring thing it's supposed to be in today but I couldn't wait that long I need to get these done so but I'll have them for the next time and I can do some pineapple rings that like way. a quarter uh-huh nope. okay there's a couple spots I missed make sure you get all those out all these brown little eyes slick slick little booger there we go and then I don't really care for that way it looks okay anyway back to the balding And it might only end up being four jars, but that's four jars I didn't have before, and it's two dollars worth of pineapple, which is a lot better than when you buy it at the store. And it will keep you from getting rickets or scurvy. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll fill up the rest of these jars, and we'll get back to you. All right, I've got them all chopped up, and they are in their jars. Supposed to leave about a half inch head space, so we'll fill them up with hot water. I've been canning long enough that I can tell you where a half inch head space is pretty quick. Woo! Well, we're gonna debubble, so. And I'll show you about that too. Now you need to make sure your jars are sanitized. You know, you can throw them in the dishwasher, you can throw them in the oven. Um, I put mine at 225 in the oven. And then you just keep them in there until I'm ready to put the stuff in. And when I'm uh, doing hot stuff and this stuff, I just put in there cold. Okay, I'm gonna see, get my debubbler. I'm just gonna go down in here like this. There's all kinds of bubbles coming up. I'm gonna do that on all of these. Put a little bigger down in there. Get all the bubbles out. They all know the bubbles coming up. Last one. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Okay. All right, 
in. There's a little bit more water. Right there. Right there. 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 And there. Okay. That's that. Now, I'm going to clean the top of the jars, the rims. Um, pineapple is pretty sweet, um, especially when you let them go. The longer you let them go, the more yellow they turn, the sweeter they are. So that's sticky stuff. Make sure you get it off the rims. And for five jars for two bucks, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. I don't care. Only uh, water bath them for 15 minutes. Yes, that's not hard at all. Yeah, that's like awesome. Yeah, easy peasy. And nowadays you don't even have to put your lids in hot water. But I know we're getting so much better at uh, preservation of food and such. Yeah. They're making things easier Way and better. easier. It's good to have food. That's awesome. <laughs> Fingertip tight. That means when you start feeling resistance, you're there. this hot water to that hot water. And I add just a little bit of vinegar to this, which I already did, my water bath, because it keeps you from having that white film on your jars. Ooh, and you'll make sure you have a uh, good inch or two of water above it, which we're already at an inch. So we're doing good there. It's kind of, there we go, stuff is hot. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna turn this bigger back on. Get it going and put her on high. As soon as she starts boiling, then we just let it go for 15 minutes. When 15 minutes is up, turn it off, let it set for five minutes, and then you can pull them out. And then just set them back on the counter on a towel or a board and uh, just let them chill overnight till they're cool the next day. Make sure everything's sealed. Take your rims off or your rings off and make, lift those jars up and make sure they're nice and sealed and then put them in a nice cool place out of the light and you'll be good. We'll be back in a little bit. Okay, we're back and this is done. I'm gonna turn that off. I forgot my lid. So we just used cookie sheet. It works. All right, we're gonna let them set for about five minutes and then I'll pull them out. But I just wanna tell you guys, I found these um, little compressed towels, which I thought were just really cool um, for being on the road or in a tight spot. <laughs> I got them off of Amazon. They were like $8.99, I think, for 100. And the cool thing about it is they even come with this little container. You can just put them in them in your purse. Oh yeah, like a stack. Glove stack box them in there. In the car. You never know when you're on the road and you gotta stop someplace and they never have toilet paper. But anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, and I got thinking about it and I thought, you know those little containers that you get those little mini M&Ms out of? You could have everybody in the family have some. Just take them out of the little packages. But anyway, this stuff is so cool. And I could not believe how easy it was. You just, like a little piece of candy, you just kind of tear it open. Get it out. Compressed little dry thing. Watch this. Put the water on. That's all it takes, just like that, that fast. <laughs> and it's opening up. Totally open it up. That's amazing to me. And it's not like soaked or anything. It's in pretty good shape for having to use it. I mean, use it for anything. You could blow your nose on it, take care of a baby if you had to, or yourself or a wound or out behind a tree yeah <laughs> blow your nose anyway and they're real strong they're like totally strong i couldn't believe oh i couldn't believe how strong they were but so i bought a bag of them and i thought i'm gonna stick those in the glove box and yeah that's very handy give some to my mom and dad and some Carry to charlotte it in, your, in your purse yeah. and put one in grandma's purse and so i thought that was pretty cool that is cool 
So yeah. Very handy. Think about it. Good thing to have on hand. Yeah. Okay, I end up with the, the five pints of pineapple. So five pints for two bucks. Can't get that in store. No. So. And no chemicals. No chemicals. A little lemon juice. That's it. Water and lemon juice. I didn't even put sugar in this. I don't like to have sugar. These are sweet enough on their own. I mean, they were very ripe. They're ready to go. They're, they're pretty sweet on their own. So there you go. Just something else you can put on the shelf for nothing. I do a lot of these small batches. Um, sometimes I make small batch jams. Um, can you see the bubbles here coming up? You can actually, when these pineapples get close to being like pretty yellow, that means they're really super sweet. And that, and just um, some sugar can make you some jam. You don't need pectin even. So, I mean, I would cut down on all the products that you don't have to use if you don't have to use them. Cheaper the better. So, but yeah. Just keep your eye out for when they have a good deal. You don't have to buy a whole bunch of vegetables or um, like a bushel of them or half bushel or something just to put some up. Just grab a little bit here and there and do small batches. It doesn't take long. I mean, check out your processing time. Usually, especially on fruit, you're talking 15 minutes So, with a water bath. so Handy. And, yep, pretty handy. And I'm happy to have it on the shelf now. So that's cool. I'll do some, uh, I'll probably go get some more and my ring thing will be here today and I'll probably make another five or six or maybe even eight. So that'll be enough for us for a while. We don't use them that often, but it's nice to have it. You feel like you're in the mood to have it. So, oh, that's it. And by the end of the week, um, it's been, our week has been really hectic. We're trying to get the pies done. Um, we're going to do the, work on those videos next, but um, the canning one I'm going to work on and I'm going to do all meat, but I'm going to keep doing little small canning videos like this real quick to give you an idea of how to do things like potatoes and carrots or what have you. And then it'll give some of you girls that want to know more about canning and feel to help you feel more comfortable doing it that are new. So we'll keep doing that here and there a little. I mean, this is a quick little video, but I mean, it's not that difficult, so it doesn't need to be a big old deal. So anyway, try doing this. Let me know how it goes. And don't forget, subscribe, ring the bell, um, give us a thumbs up if you like the video. If you got a comment or a question, give us a little write down on the comments and we'll get back to you. Take care.